All right, so I wanted to pick a couple problems that were really hard um, that a lot of people struggle with and kind of show you what we could do with these problems. So the first thing I would do here is I would take what's in parentheses and I would write it in exponent format. So we can make this a z to the two thirds. All right, now that we have it written like this, what we can actually do is we can actually take this one third and apply it to both the 27 and the z. So you could think of this as 27 to the one third and z to the two-third to the one-third. Well, we'll deal with this in a second, but let's play with this first. Remember, when you have an exponent to an exponent, all you do is multiply. So this is just like saying two-thirds times one-third. And multiplying fractions is pretty easy. All you do is just multiply straight across. So two times one is two, three times three is nine. So this becomes z to the two-ninths. All right, now let's play with... 27 to the one third. What that really means, we could go back to radical form, that really means the third root of 27. So the third root of something just means what to the third power equals 27. Well, third root of 27 is three. So the answer here is three z to the two ninths. That's it. Here's another one that's a little interesting. And what I would recognize first is that regardless of what's this square root's going on, what's going on inside here is these are two things being multiplied together with the same base. So we can just add these exponents together. So this is the same thing as the square root of x to the 3 fourths plus negative 1 or simply minus 1. Now remember, when you're adding fractions, you need common denominators. So we could think of this as 1 over 1. And then if we wanted common denominators, we could actually just make this into what's a way to think of... Um, denominator 4 that's equal to 1, well, it would just be 4 over 4. Okay, so this is the square root of x to the 3 fourths minus 4 fourths. So that's the same thing as square root of x to the negative 1 fourth. Okay, now, what can we do here? This is, gets a little bit funky. They want us to write it all in exponent form. Remember, well, when there's a, a square root without or a radical symbol without a number in the the correct term is index, but I like to call it in the crack, right? It's a 2. So that number is a 2. That means I can rewrite this as x to the negative 1 fourth, parentheses, 1 half. Because there is no number out here, so you'd make that a 1, make that a 2. That's how you're, you could rewrite your exponent. Well, once again now, I just have a multiplication here. So I'm just going to multiply negative 1 times 1. That gives me negative 1. And 2 times 4 gives me 8. And so I can write this whole thing as x to the negative 1 eighth. And that's actually what they're looking for, right? x to some number. The number could be a fraction. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay? All right, so there's two that nobody was able to get right yesterday that I thought maybe might be helpful for you all today.